account has been automatically charged. Gentlemen! Oh, that's much better. Thanks, human. Uh, the right color, the right size. Wrong mm, fish. Still, better than rafting bug. Oh, hello there, human. Would you like to discover the digital canvas? With me, Bot Moss? Take another leisurely step into the vacation zone. Cause it's vacation time, brother. Vacation time, brother. Vacation. <laughs> vacation. Great. Now put it in the slot and pull the lever. Welcome to the grand opening of Vacation Island. Before you vacation, we should learn how to talk to bots. When you're close, just wave to get a bot's attention. Try it now. Great job. You really nailed the standard human greeting protocol. Now for the fun part. Let's take a peek inside your suite. To move around, look where you want to go. Then hold this button until you see your destination. Before we go on vacation, we need to make sure you look relaxed. Head into the bathroom to personalize the way you look. Every human starts as a blank slate. You can be the you you see in yourself. I'm fabulous.
Looking good, human! Before we head out into the world, you'll want a place to keep all your cool stuff. Here, take this one-of-a-kind human back storage device. I think they called it a backpack. Wow, human, you look really tourist. Feel free to continue exploring your suite. I'll be outside when you want to check out the rest of Vacation Island. The real vacation is the memories we made along the way. Welcome. Hey, welcome back. I'm DJ DJ Bot coming at you live on KSIM Radio, the simulation's number one simulated music station. To start our show, we're going to go with our new instant hit by Background Music Bot. Funk music underscore zero five underscore seventeen oh one dot W A V. Such a catchy name. Don't forget your screensaver. If you're ready to dance, you gotta. 
just speculate. On the dance floor, we are all all that same. We're gonna move our body to identical time measurements. Cause we're ready to dance and it's time. this door with a key of relaxation. You're in a new simulator, on an island. But how did you get here? Does it matter? Maybe someone brought you here. Maybe a friend. You look down in your hand. You're holding a pamphlet. It says vacation in big bold letters. If a job is to accomplish your goal, and the goal of vacation is to relax, then is relaxing not a job? Questions bubble up to the surface of your mind. You look back down in your hand. The pamphlet is gone. You're holding a cup of coffee. Is it yours? Is it your boss's? You take a drink. It's delicious. Did you take a drink because you meant to or because it was your job? The lines between job and vacation begin to blur. You feel dizzy. Was it the coffee or was it the sudden realization that it's too late and you're already here on vacation? Take another leisurely step into the vacation zone. Thank you. Your account has been automatically charged. Enjoy your purchase, human. And remember, it's technically still ours until you consume it. Sorry, human, you've reached your credit limit. Credit limit extended. Enjoy your snack. So convenient. No, wait! Yeah, whatever to take it. Wow, you have expensive taste!
ha, 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 human. That was very funny. I hope you use your time in this resort for better things than pranking our staff. Purchase is extremely non refundable. Thanks for shopping with us. That'll be four hundred dollars. Well, I thought we were ready to vacation, but it looks like all the destinations are closed right now. What is this? This wasn't here earlier. Funny you should ask. The Bureau of Simulations requires metric to prove the success of a project, which you seem to have conveniently forgotten. Luckily, I've figured out a way to measure vacation. Quantified memory management. Oh, efficiency bot. I should have known. Here, human. Take this wristband. It will be your key to unlock efficient, measurable fun. Efficient! Now use it on that scanner over there. Access denied. You don't have enough memories. Oh, yes. <clears throat> you need memories to gain access to different areas of the resort. Here, try this. A memory of the time you didn't have enough memories. Really? You didn't even ask me. And that is how you vacation. So I guess we're doing memories now. Anyway, it looks like your wristband has enough memories for that scanner. Try it. Pass accepted. And with that, Vacation Island is open. You can visit any of our three destinations. The beach is the most efficient place to start. Welcome to Vacation Forest. Humans used to hang out in the woods away from distractions like email and work. They called it roughing it. Ah, I see you're finally getting the hang of vacation. Make enough memories and you'll get access to more areas of Vacation Island. <laughs> I'm not sure that measuring vacations was the point, but I'm happy we made it to the forest. The Bureau of Simulations won't be satisfied unless we have clear metrics. I don't think we're seeing screen to screen on this one. <laughs> But I know a way to track the moments you enjoy, human. There's a camera in your backpack. Try it out. Just tap the button on the camera to snap a photo. Go on, give that button a boop. Wonderful. Now this is vacationing. <laughs> there are plenty of actual memories to be made in the forest. And if you're looking for fun excursions in the forest, I heard the geyser is beautiful this time of year. We'll leaf you to it! You're gonna have to feed those fish if you want them to change color. Mark another one on the board. That's not the right breed, human. If I asked you for a golden retriever and you brought me one of them little wiener dogs, it'd still be wrong.
If I wanted that kind of fish, I would have put it on the board. One more fish from the list. Uh, what happened? Color, right size. <laughs> Wrong fish. Still better than rafting, bud. You think you're some kind of clown? Um, what happened? There are many types of fish in this river, but this one is not the one we're looking for. Great. We'll have seen all the fish in no time. Wow. There may be plenty of fish in the river, but I'm going to permanently commit these to my memory storage. Oops. fish. The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Let's check out the board. Oh, hello there, human. Would you like to discover the... Digital canvas. With me, Bot Moss? I'd like you to paint me a little painting, human. Anything your heart desires. I don't need no instructions to know how to rock! Art is subjective, human. If you find it beautiful, I'm sure it's great. Just show me what you've created when you're done. Painting is easy. Just paint whatever you feel in your internal organs. Fantastic, human. I feel the energy of this work. It truly represents joy. It's art of the mind. The bots on the board would love to commission you to make them a painting. Looks like you could enrich the lives of some other bots with your art. 
Why don't you give this one to one of the bots on this board? Hi, human! Uh, thank you, human! Now I can finally teach my bugs! I bet that bot Moss has more for you to do. Be sure to say hi for me. Oh, hi there! Are you also on vacation? Great! My sibling bots and I couldn't decide which vacation we wanted to go on, so we each went with our favorite. Now I have to prove to my siblings that far as vacation is the best vacation. Oh, 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 hey, could you help me out? There are sketches of all the best vacation moments on that stand. Take a photo that matches the image and place it right on the top of the sketch. Listen, I need all of my cycles to outcompete my siblings. You're gonna have to place your own photos on the sketches. Not quite human. You need to make sure you're matching the sketch. These sketches, they paint a picture of the ultimate vacation. Hey, yep, that's a photo. I'm not sure what sketch this goes with. Can you place this photo? Oh, you must be interested in botany. <gasps> Explore your love of all things plants at this wonderful station! The nice little board here will tell you which bot could use a painting of brown in their life. For me? Botany fact. This painting reminds me of my... Blue. When you get a chance, I bet Botmoss has more painting for you. Uh, I'm not going to place the photo on the sketch. You have to do that yourself. Now, I like your sense of adventure, but we really should stick to the sketches. It's the only way I can prove this is the ultimate vacation.
I was never the physically active. So. Your garden is really starting to blossom. Your garden looks wonderful, human. It's teeming with carbon-based life forms. Here's a memory and of your it's gone. demonstration. Feel free to swing by and tend to your garden anytime. It's fertile ground for botanical experimentation. You know where to find me. That'll look nice in your garden. Growing a garden is the most rewarding thing you can do. Oh, yes it is. Hello, human. I was just telling my family about my favorite camping experience. Telling stories around a campfire. Um, wow! A real campfire! Look at that! Let me know when you're ready for a spooky story. All right, honey. The human's ready. Okay. I'll turn on the dark. Much better. <clears throat> a long time ago, a simulated forest just like this one, a bot family set up camp. Well, Kid Bot heard a scraping noise <coughs> coming from outside the campground. The family went to investigate, but only found a rusty old magnet. As Parent Bot looked closer, it suddenly latched onto this screen and. <coughs> Uh, oh boy, <coughs> oh, excuse me, my uh, audio processor is so dry. Uh, a human, would you mind getting me a nice hot cup of liquid? I could, kiddo, but I need a hot cup of liquid to relax my audio processor. Hey, human. Camping sucks. My super dorky family is forcing me to make food for everyone. But what if you did it and I took all the credit, eh? 
it'll just be like a group project. That's much better. Thanks, human. Anyway, Parent Bot tried to scream, but all that came out was a dial-up tone. Dial-up? What's that? You know, uh... <clears throat> anyway, KidBot tried to call IT for an emergency backup. Only to find that... Oh no! Did you forget to eat today? Oops! Sorry, human! I can't access... Campfire story. In power saving mode. Could you, uh, bring me a waffle? Feeling any better? Yeah, I, I, I think I... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> a waffle should give me the recharge I need. Human, uh, do you mind getting a waffle while I keep an eye on Kidbot? Do you think you can make a waffle from fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, now that hit the spot. <laughs> waffle. So, uh, where was I in that story? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Kidbot had hit the monthly data limit. Oh dear, that was definitely too scary. <laughs> there, there. Turn the dark off. Ah, don't worry, champ. We're on a family plan. I wasn't scared. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> and look, neither was the human. It looks like that story will stick with Kidbot for a while. I hope you'll remember it too. Thanks for experiencing this campfire with us.
robot says if I eat this, I'll turn into a lean, mean data processing machine. Welcome to the Welcome Center. <laughs> well, come on in. Oh, wow, human, your wave is so loud. Yeah, some of my bot friends and I had this idea last night to set up all these targets for some reason. We stayed up so late I wasn't able um, Oh, nice! You grabbed my acorn spawn and slingshot. <laughs> Just pull back the string to flame. Give me a wave if you want to hear about finding targets in the forest. This machine will accept any official wood chips. I think I've seen some lying around in the forest. did you know? That's exactly the boost my power supply needs right now. Gentlemen! It's a good thing the sun is up right now. 
If it gets any darker than this, I'll probably fall into standby. <sighs> Found another scanner. We can't go hiking or see the gorgeous geyser until we unlock this. Efficiency Bot is really committed to the idea of saving the simulation with memories. Looks like we're going to need five forest memories before we head on our excursion. Pass accepted. Please stay on the trail for safety reasons. All right, we're all clear to enter the woods. Come on, human, you have to see this. Hey, you made it deep into the woods. You can try hiking out to the geyser. It, uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find. This map over here might help. Welcome to the hiking trail. If you get lost, you should stay still so someone can find you. <laughs> I've just been informed that we do not have the budget for this. Never mind, just keep exploring. You'll figure it out. Hold up. Mushrooms were in an eternal contest with each other to see who could grow in the ickiest spot in the forest. Much like bots, fungi are a single entity connected by a vast network. And much like mushrooms, bots are a bunch of fun guys! Eating mushrooms caused some humans to double in size. Or at least believe they did. Humans love to eat mushrooms, despite them having almost no nutritional value. And they grow in waste. And some are poisonous. Yuck. Oh, hey there! I was wondering when you'd find the river. Oh, let's try to do my favorite human activity. Throwing compressed cylinders of minerals across body of water. Ancient humans used to call it skipping rocks. Ow! Oh, that was a rock! Be careful with those. Rock fact! <laughs> I'm being told there are no rock facts because rocks are really boring. Geologist bot is unavailable for comment. Rocks were known to skip, but never to hop or jump. Rock fact! <laughs> I'm being told there are no rock facts because rocks are really boring. Geologist bot is unavailable for comment. Skip, human. I think you're the new rock skipping champion of this river. Take this memory. You can take one of the rocks, too, if you want. Yeah, they're all the same. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't exist without trees. Press the button again for more tree facts. If bushes are just short trees, does that mean apples are really berries? Tree fact! The trunk is just a tree's neck. That's why they call it an Adam's apple. If you think about it, every log cabin is also a tree house. A pine cone is like fruit from a pine tree that you can't eat and isn't shaped like a cone. At some jobs, humans work with trees all day. They are called branch managers. forest is full of all sorts of wildlife. Smash that button to hear some great wildlife facts. Bears would frequently break into human automobiles in search of snacks, which seems wasteful when they really could have just taken the cars and sold them to buy food. If you see a bear in the wild, there are at least eight different things you could do depending on what kind of bear it is. So for liability reasons, we have outsourced the role of bear to the human. The scientific name for deer is Suburbicus raticus, due to their close relation to the urban rat and the pizza rat. Ooh, what's that look like? Show it to me! Whoa! A human! Did you come out here to immerse yourself in nature too? If you go hiking and don't take any pictures, does the forest really exist? Huh. Better take a quick selfie just to be safe. Ooh, the lighting looks great! Let me see the picture. Looking good, human. Here's a memory of the time you proved you went hiking. Keep taking selfies. There's lots of props to try. Deer were widely feared for their destructive capabilities in a forest. Please exercise caution when wearing the deer hat and mitts. Lest this terrifying power run rampant. You would stress up the animals and watch the history. You can see it in the rituals of the druids, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and nature magazines. The forest is full of all sorts of wildlife. Smash that button to hear some great wildlife facts. Oh, hey, a human! I didn't see you there. I love being out in nature and observing birds. I could spend all day listening to them. Can you bring me pictures of these birds so I can have a permanent memory of them? Would you look at that? A cardinal! Squee, squee, squee! Bleep, 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 bleep. I hear their crimson song can set your heart a flutter. Wow, a blue jay! They're well known as the fourth best bird in the Northeast. Oh, it's a goldfinch! Goldfinch!
goldfinches have to harvest at least an ounce of pure gold a year to maintain their luster. Hey human, I'm Rafting Bot. Rafting can get pretty loud, so sometimes I like to come out here for some quiet. Isn't it peaceful? But to tell you the truth, I got pretty lost out here. Now that you've arrived, I can just read the location tracking data from your watch and find my way back. Thanks, human. plants only evolved in the last 130 million years. That means for the other 5,870,000,000 years, nothing had ever had a flower on it. Press the button for more flower facts. Flowers were regularly given as a romantic gift, but we're still not sure how a human can love a flower. Have you ever smelled lavender? Lavender just smells great! While bears eat berries and berry berries, bears barely bear berries, but bears bear berry bushes bear. Bear with me for some more berry facts. <coughs> Burying a berry will produce produce. Berries evolved to be brightly colored so that they would be eaten, allowing their seeds to spread in the animal's solid waste matter. <laughs> Strawberries and raspberries aren't actually berries, but bananas are, which is a fact that humans were only capable of saying while being incredibly snide. Remember, when leaving the forest, it's important to leave no trace. <laughs> I have been informed that I should have told you that sooner. Too late! Remember, when leaving the forest, it's important to leave no trace. Yes, you found the incredibly elusive hummingbird! Twee, twee, twee. They're the heavy metal singers of the avian world. Look at that, it's a grackle. <laughs> You're lucky you only met one. In groups, their shared processing power can outsmart basic neural networks. Wow, you went and photographed all the birds in the forest. We must really be birds of a feather. A cheer for the human, friend of the birds. Go, go. That's Yippy Skippy in Bird. Now please take this memory. It's my gift from one ornithologist to another.
you made it! I'm so glad you didn't get lost in the woods. You can use these controls to get the geyser flowing. And then Stanley pressed the big red button. Wow, isn't that beautiful? That water isn't going anywhere or serving any meaningful purpose. Why do we expend so much energy trekking out here to look... Shh, you're ruining it. Can't you just be in the moment? That's what we think here is all about. But the metrics are trending downwards. Just look at this chart. Let me see that. Are you sure it's right side up? Of course it's correct. My math coprocessor is certified at the atomic level. Maybe we ought not to have to I'm not sure. I've only been a champion at quantity. I'm going to rerun the numbers. <sighs> Human, this is something Efficiency Bot and I have to discuss. If you want to head back to the forest, you can use this exit here. for those targets, human. Ooh, I'll help by watching you from here, quietly. I'd like to think we made a happy little memory here. Have this as a drop of joy from me to you. Oh, would you look at that. More of our friends would love a painting from you. The metrics are concerning. I came here to help, but I'm not seeing the upward trend I was expecting. I know it looks bad, but we're still working out the glitches. Really, how bad can it be? Well, if the metrics cross zero, the Bureau of Simulations will automatically shut down the vacation simulator. Oh. Oh, man. Well, we're still far away from zero, right? I've noticed you have a number of unobtained memories. You should go and get more of them. It's the only way to properly vacation. Not true. Ignore that. We must maximize vacation. Isn't it nice to just spend some downtime at the resort? 
There's no stress, no worries, and no responsibilities. And no memories. Of course. How could I forget the best part? <laughs>